Hello fire signs, Aries, Sag and Leo. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in to your uh, inspiring reading. We're going to get some advice from the cards here about your current situation. So if you're in a love situation, a financial situation, um, any sort of things that are happening around you right now, fire signs, we'll look at the tarot deck and we'll see what the guides are trying to tell you. What is the best course of action at this present time? Um, so it is intended for fire signs. If you're dealing with a fire sign, this can absolutely be resonant for you as well. Um, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. That would be very much appreciated. Um, otherwise, let's have a look and see what's coming up for the fire signs. Okay, so really, really powerful of mess uh, messages of love that are coming up around your fire sign. So I feel like, you know, this wasn't meant to be a love reading, but suddenly it is. Um, okay, so we've got the Knight of Wands, but he's reversed. So overall energy is you not needing to take the action right now. You need to take a step back from a relationship or a friendship. I think it's something regarding love. It's almost like you need to take a step back from love because... I feel like you've taken some risks for a person or for a situation, and now you need to see if that's going to be returned to you. Stepping back from a situation and looking at it is going to give you a, a perspective, but you need to emotionally withdraw to do that. So it's regarding or a twin flame or a soulmate reading he fire signs. So uh, um, a connection, sorry. So you've got this super powerful connection. All right. And it's big. It's big. It's it's someone you thought you'd be with forever. OK. Um, and they're coming up as a two of cups. So. Love is coming up really powerfully, but it's almost like the universe wants you to step back from it. Interesting. Why would the guides advise you to do this? Two of swords reversed, ten of cups reversed and the fool. A strong Aries energy, actually. All right. Uh, I'm getting a vibe that if you do not step away from a situation or at least step back from a situation, you could end up making some really, really risky moves that you otherwise wouldn't. Now, fire signs, you can be impulsive. You know it yourself. I know when you see something, you want it, you go after it, and not even wild horses are going to drag you away from it. But this time around, the universe is telling you to hold off. Doesn't mean you have to hold off forever, but it's telling you to hold off for a reason. I wonder if your intuition is telling you that something's off about a situation. We've got the moon, okay? I feel like your intuition has been wrong about a situation before. And... I feel like you're trying to block it out or not listen to it. You're trying to put it in the past because you don't want to make that same mistake. Um, but I feel like intuition is very powerful now more than ever. I mean, the moon has come up twice. It's almost present with the Ten of Cups, but the Ten of Cups is reversed. So it's the happily ever after. I think something has happened here that you haven't read into too much. You've sort of just left it. You've accepted what's happened. You haven't thought about it much. You've left it at that. And you haven't picked it up since. And this is dangerous territory here with a full card. Because it can lead you to get heartbroken. It can lead you to make some pretty submissive, pretty risky things that you probably wouldn't have done. But most importantly, it has potential to change the course of your future. The Ten of Cups is the future card. This is the happily ever after. This is the long-term vision. This is the outcome that you're wanting to see, and it's reversed right now. So the advice is the advice here is not to take action regarding the situation right now. Knight of Wands normally jumps into things as impulsive. It's a Leo energy. Okay, so if it's a Leo energy and it's reversed, we're looking at the negative traits of Leo suddenly. Okay, so we're looking at things like possessiveness. 
could be that if there's a message you have to hold some of that back all right or not show it remember behavior ones is all about the behavior the way we project ourselves the things that we do or the things that we don't do and the action that we take the action that we don't take don't take action because something has happened around this really really huge connection something that could get you into trouble with the fall now for some of you you're playing with fire here all right there's affairs there's speaking to someone who's taken there's playing people here one of these connections may feel like the two of cups the two of cups or the ten of cups reversed and facing each other like facing off i wonder if this is two different connections entirely you also have the two of swords so i wonder if it's you needing to choose between two different connections here but the choice shouldn't be made right now because there's something about your intuition that you have ignored so it's almost like you've ignored your intuition and it's led to this. You ignored something deep within, all right? We all do it. We all want to believe in, in what we want to believe in. Sometimes we have something or someone that is trying to tell us something. It's practically screaming for us to listen. We ignore it. We ignore it. We don't believe in it. We don't give credence to it. We don't give substance to it. And then it comes back to bite us in the bum and we were like, what just happened i think this is one of those situations here fire signs so there is a bit of damage control but look not acting might let things blow over and it might help things simmer right now okay and it can also help with your intuition because if we're not taking that action and we're not distracted with what we're doing suddenly we'll be able to hear our intuition more okay suddenly we'll be able to tap into those energies more and I feel like the, the message here for you is that that's something that you are needing to do in this current energy. Okay, so just because you ignored your intuition before, it doesn't mean you have to ignore it now. I feel like, yes, it might have led to this situation. You might have got yourself into a little bit of a pickle here. But there can be something that can be done here. Okay, there is always hope. It's not a completely helpless situation. Some of you, you have this choice that you want to make, but you're putting off it. You're putting off making the choice. And maybe there's a reason why. Maybe one of these connections is the person's going to stand up and show you how much they value you, what they bring to your life, and how much they, they're really invested. So maybe the message here is don't choose now. Give it more time. Help, you know, help, help the universe help you to see what your best, of co what best um, course of action is from here for you. Um, so I feel like it's it's interesting that this is happening fire signs because I feel with the two of cups it's a powerful message of love we've got the fish here um, fish is Pisces energy and Pisces energy is very interchangeable it's a mutable kind of energy fire signs so it could also be that this person you're willing to do a lot for suddenly changes suddenly goes in a different direction ghosts disappears changes grows distant which a can give way to another connection with another person entirely whether that connection is the 10 or the two of cups or b it's going to tell you that not to make those big jumps that you would for this person you know you might have jumped hoops for them you might have done a lot for them but the question is what have done what have they done the same for you if the if the roles were reversed and the shoes were on the other foot that is something that you have to ask yourself don't be impulsive towards this situation some of you just want to dive in and not think about it ever again and just go ahead and do it who cares what the consequences are you know that's the kind of attitude that you've got about it right now but the universe is warning you your intuition your most powerful go-to is warning you or is trying to tell you something try to silence the distractions that you find around you because you may find once you do that the voice of your intuition will be louder and more clearer than you were able to see previously so this is a, a revolutionary here for you fire signs it's not something it's not probably your strong point here i say what a water sign would be with this intuition but it's there and it's telling you not to act about a situation something is needed there's more information that's coming trust the process trust where your intuition will take you here because once you silence those distractions it will all fall into place and i really feel like someone's about to prove themselves here to you so it's like it's do or die it's ride or die here for you and this person 
Wow, okay, that was intense by his signs. I'll leave it at that though. So thank you so much for watching Airy Sag Leo. Do really do appreciate it. Um, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. Otherwise, we shall catch up soon. Thanks again, everyone. Bye for now.